Marcus, are you in there?
Thank you guys for waiting. I I did not want you to see a grown man cry, but um, <laughs> I um, it's 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 really 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 good to see all you guys. Um, Aww, we missed you so much. I missed being here. I missed being here. Really, really, really. Voila. Um, <laughs> let us. <laughs> Let us um, introduce nice ourselves. <laughs> I put a part in my hair for today's class <laughs> for the new year. <laughs> it's, uh, my my hair is not as interesting as Manuel's, but it's a little something. That's where I could put a pen. <laughs> Very good. All right. I'm um, sorry for the wait. Uh, I'm, I'm having some technical difficulties on this side, but it is good to be here, all right? We lost a few minutes, so um, okay. let me, let's uh, just in, quickly introduce ourselves, say our name and what country we're from, and then we'll jump right in, okay? So my name is Marcus. I was born in America, but I grew up in Bahamas, all right? And let's start all the way on the side with Ahla. Yeah, hi, my name is Ahla, I'm from Saudi Arabia, I'm really happy today for being here. Nice to meet you, Ahla, all right. Florine, can you hear us? Yes, hello, I'm Florine, I'm from Romania. Ah, Kefat, all right. Nice. Oh, <laughs> Gabriel. Been a... Uh, well, hello, I'm Gabriel, and I'm from Colombia. Colombia's in the house. Nice to meet you, Gabriel. All right. Leila? Yes, hi, how are you? I'm doing I am well. Leila. <laughs> I am Leila from Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan. Good. Yes. Right. Luis? Luisa. Luisa, sorry. Luisa. Uh, yeah. uh, my name is Luisa. I'm from Armenia. Armenia? Yes. Ah, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. All right. Manuel? Manu? Hi. I'm Manuel. I'm from Spain. And I love your haircut, Marcus. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will share it with you. I'm going to put it inside an email and I'll send it to you. <laughs> All right. M Mehmet. Mm. Uh, I'm, my name is Onurjan. I'm from Turkey. All right. Nice. Oh, what is it? Your name again? Mehmet? Mehmet Chami. Ah, okay. Nice yeah. to meet you. All right. <laughs> and our next one, Nazro. Hola, mi amigo. Que pasa? <laughs> Finally, you are here. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, let the other people know where you're from. Okay, I'm from Algeria. Algeria. Nazar, hola, hola. And the last one, Norbit. Hello. I Can you hear us? From Hungary. From Hungary, all right. Uh, Norbit, your mic is a little bit uh, low. If you can uh, turn up the volume, that would be nice. All right, everybody is from a different country. So that's amazing. That's very cool. All right. Um, I live down the road from Allah, but nice and welcome, everybody. Uh, thank you for waiting. Today we're going to be studying phrasal verbs. Is everybody looking at the document? Not yet. Okay. Uh, the document is attached to the... Google Drive? It's in, yes, it's in Google Drive. And I'm adding um, the document also to the chat window. All right. <clears throat> All right. Can you see it, Luisa? Yes, I can. All right. Good, good. Layla, can you see it? No. Ah, uh -huh. yes, yes. Yes, yes. Good, good. All right. Gabriel, <laughs> Florine, Allah. Yes, 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 we can see it. All right, good, good, good. What we're going to do, uh, thank you, Wiam. Wiam has also posted it inside the, um, the verbling chat. Wiam, thank you for giving up your spot 
um, to let me back in. That was such a cool thing to do. All right. Thank you, Ian. You're so nice. So nice. All right, and cousin, we'll talk with you later. Today we're just going to go through some um, phrasal verbs. Um, really quick, I know Manuel knows what a phrasal verb is because Spanish people love phrasal verbs, but um, can anybody else tell me what a phrasal verb is? It's a, a verb which contains more than one word. Mm. Okay. Could be two words or three. Yes. Okay, what are you saying, Florin? It's a verb uh, with a preposition or another particle. It's mm -hmm. another uh, meaning. Change the meaning. Very good, Leila. All right, it's a verb with a, with a, with a preposition or another particle, as, as Florin said, and it changes the meaning, all right? We're going to look at some easy ones and some not so easy ones. So let's begin. I'm going to give you the, the examples. The examples are labeled um, be, beneath it. And uh, you tell me what you think the meaning is from the context. And then after that, we will look at the real meaning. And then we'll do some exercises. Okay? So the first one, as Allah said, was come off. Come off, all right? Uh, be careful with this old book. The cover is coming off. Right? The paint won't come off your hands unless you use turpentine. Turpentine. All right. Anybody, what do you think come off means? Come on, please. Uh, um, yeah, something like that is when uh, you have a, a kind of uh, a thing with several parts and one of the parts Mm, drop from the drop or mm, you take away from the object and then come off. Like for example right. a door hand a door handle in a door when the door handle come off of the door. Okay. So there are two things that are there and then they are separated. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I, I know all of you know what it means in your mind, but when I ask you I, I want you to explain so that you can use your English. So I know it is here, but I want you to use it here, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, so um, as he was saying, there are two parts or two things. <clears throat> and when something comes off, it becomes detached from where it was attached or fastened, all right? Uh, let me, sorry, do this real quick. So I'm just gonna highlight it here. Okay, so that's very easy. Um, come off, so the book cover is coming off. Uh, some people think my hair came off. No, I just put apart. <laughs> mm -hmm. Be the example. The party came off well. Everyone had a lot of fun. The attack didn't come off the way the general planned it. Hey, Luis. All right, in this sense, come off means something else. The party came off well. Everybody had a lot of fun. Be successful. Very good, Luis. Very good. Very good. Anybody else have an idea? OK, that's, that's exactly what it is, to be successful. All right, if you plan something, if you plan an event, it comes off. Um, this class, I hope it comes off well, but it, it started kind of rocky. But I hope this class comes off well. All right. Um, Allah, can you please read uh, the example for number letter C, come off? OK. It's... Uh... 2 a.m. You come home smiling like Pierre. Smiling. Sorry, smelling like Pierre, and yeah, and you say you were working late uh, in the office. I think. Oh, come off it. Come off it. Okay. Counter, come uh, on. Two. Um, hey, counter. Come on. Okay, it's um, 2 a.m. in the morning. You smell like beer. 
and you say you were in the office. Oh, come off it. Come on, tell me, what, really, <laughs> tell, me, well, tell me what you really have been doing. All right, very good, Allah, very good, Manuel. Stop lying, all right? It means you don't believe what the person is saying. Come off it. You've got... Okay? You think something they have said is untrue or foolish. All right, come on. People say, come on, when, when they say, oh, come on, tell me the truth, or they say, come off it, like, come off it, like, stop lying. Mm -hmm. Okay? Got it? Good? Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right, good, good, good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Luisa, the next one we're looking at is doze off, doze off. Can you please read the example? Uh, Luisa, with A. <laughs> me? Or Luisa? Oh, yes, Luisa, yes, yes. Luisa and Luis. Lisa. I saw uh, I saw it was in Marcus class on wrestling last night. Uh, last night, but it was so boring. I dozed off. Really, Luisa? Really? No. <laughs> <laughs> but there is you see, you uh, you read last night two times in sentence. I can I cannot hear you very well. Would you say? Uh, in sentence you write last night two times. It's wrong. Uh, very good. I just wanted to see if you will notice the error. Very good. Very good. <laughs> I'm uh, not joking. I, think really... I was in Marcus's class on verbling last night, but it was so boring I dozed off. Mehmet, what does doze off mean? I don't have any idea. All right. Something is very boring. Something is very boring, and I dozed off. Uh, Norbit, do you have an idea? No, I haven't. Okay. I know. <laughs> okay, Manuel. <laughs> very, very good, very sorry. good. Let me ask I Luis. Ah, ah. No, wait, sorry. Oh, no, no, that, sorry, sorry, sorry. It's okay. Sorry. No, it's all right. It's all right. Very good. Luis, do you have an idea? Luis, me, not Luis. No, guess, Luis, Luis. The man, yeah, Luis. I guess. I guess it's something like you give up, you, you quit to pay attention in the class, you, you are boring to, to, pay, a, to mm. pay attention in the class. Close, close. <laughs> you, you lose attention, but, um, all right, Manuel, you're, you are itching. You are ready <laughs> to say the answer. <laughs> yeah, I fell asleep. I fell asleep, all right. Let's, let me show you here. I dozed off. To doze off means you fall into a light sleep. Okay. So um, at night when when I'm in my bed and I'm reading my book, I doze off. Okay. <laughs> All right. Do you have that, Florian? Yeah, yeah. I I knew the meaning of the this. <laughs> Well, very good, very good, very good. Right. So, okay, we have doze off and we have come off. All right. Next one is fall four. Uh, Florine, can you please read those two examples for us? Um, yeah. I feel like an idiot. The salesman promised me it was a real diamond, not glass, and I fell for it. Your girlfriend told you that guy uh, she was dancing with at the party was her brother. How could you fall for a story like that? All right. To be Pardon? deceived. Okay, there, there is okay. There is a deception. Someone lied, and then what happened after that deception? You believe deception. that lie. <clears throat> I believe. Okay, very good, Norbit. Uh, very good, Luis. You believe a lie or you believe a deception. All right. Someone successfully tricks you or deceives you. Mm -hmm. All right. mm -hmm. So, okay, do you, do you see um, number one come off and the example in number two? I mean, uh, C? It's 2 a.m and you come home smelling like beer and you say you're working late at the office, come off it. She did not fall for his lie. She did not fall for it. Yeah. 
Uh, very good. All right, there's another meaning for fall for. Layla, can you please read that one? Okay. You, your girlfriend told you that gays she was dancing with at a party was her brother. How could you fall for a story like that? Okay. Uh, um, you leave? No, 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 no. Sorry, sorry. Uh, we already did that. That's the example for A, fall for. Can, a, can you please okay. go on to, yeah, to fall for? My, my Serbian friend met a Brazilian girl last week. And no, he skypes her every day. I guess I, he really fell for her in a big way. Uh, <laughs> what? Oh, Mark and Vivian. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I did not say any names. I did not say any names, okay? I just, it's an example. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Can, can, can you, oh, there's a there's a baby. <laughs> okay, I think that was Allah. Okay, uh, can you read the second example? Me. Layla. Mm -hmm. Yes. When I saw the new iPhone six, I fell for it immediately and uh, tried to order it. All right. It's um, other uh, meaning, yes. No, no, no. The, the, these two examples have the same meaning. Me, yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. So Thanks. my Serbian friend met a Brazilian girl and mm -hmm. they Skype every day. I think they they really felt he felt for her. It mm -hmm. means I think uh, go ahead. I like very well something. Okay, Norbit. Uh <laughs> Mahmed, did you say something? He felt for all the moment his eyes met. You, I, I didn't I didn't understand that. Sorry. Yes, I mean. Okay. You, you can type it. To fall for oh he fell for her the moment her eyes met. The moment their eyes met. But what does fall for mean? Can you explain it? Mm, to fill in love with I really yes, like it. Love. Yes. love. Yes. <laughs> love or a strong attraction. Okay? To fall for something mm -hmm. or someone, you really love it or you have a strong attraction. So I fell for the iPhone 6. I do not know the iPhone 6, but okay. <laughs> All right, very good. We, we're three down. Uh, we have a few more to go, and then we'll get to our examples. Manuel, I love your smile. I'm falling for your smile. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, I'm, <laughs> no, no, okay, I'm I'm straight, but I'm just saying I'm. Open up. It's okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> Can you please read number four? Yeah. My my girlfriend drove me crazy, asking me to buy her a kitten for Christmas, and I finally gave in. Mm -hmm. The strike lasted for eight months, but my company never gave in in their workers' demands. Okay. To give in to. Or to give, give, give it into the. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, no, you said it right. You said it right. Past tense, gave into. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, what does give in mean, class? Let me ask um, Gabriel. To surrender or. To bound to the pressure. Okay, to bound to the pressure. That's a very, very big word. Maybe. Okay. Can you say it simply, more simply? Huh. Oh, maybe um, when to somebody... agree with or... when okay, someone... Allah. Go on, continue, Gabriel. When someone is um, always telling you something again and again and again, and you're telling no, I won't, I won't, I won't. At last, you say yes, I will. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, very good. All right, Allah, you you mentioned the word agree. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. 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 All right. Yeah. Um, you mentioned a very good word there, Gabrielle. You said pressure. When someone is pressuring you or forcing you to do something, okay. and you allow it, even though you don't want to. The key word there is you don't want to. All right. Mm. <clears throat> all right. So you give in. I gave in to my girlfriend. She was nagging.
attacking me. Buy me a cat! Buy me a cat! <laughs> Alright. Is it the same with give up? Uh, <laughs> no, it's not the same as give up. Who was that, Manuel? No. Yes, sorry. I said that it wasn't the same because mm, gave up is like um, stop doing something on your own. Like, for example, giving up smoking or something like that. Um, you can give up smoking, it means you, you stop smoking, you stop doing it, but then um, give up can also mean if you're in a conflict, if you're in a battle, and you admit defeat, you let the other side win, and you stop fighting, mm -hmm. that, that also means give up. Yeah, but you, but you do it on your own, no, nobody has forced you to, to give up, I think, that is the difference okay. between so basically, give up mean, coffee. means to accept something. Oh, okay, all right, all right. Um, it, with this give in, it means to accept also, but you, but you don't want to accept. And a key with, um, as Manuel was saying, give up, it's something that you do by yourself, a choice that you make. All right? Okay. Uh, ye, the, the topic is, is phrasal verbs. You can find the document inside the, the description of the class. All right? Good to see you, cousin mm -hmm. Russell, and I'm sorry to see Louise let go. All right. All right, let's go through these last five, uh, three more, four more, and then we'll get on to our examples. All right. Hear about. This one's very easy, very easy. Mahmed. <laughs> Two thousand thirteen. Did you hear about the new verbaling features that are coming in two thousand thirteen? Hear about. All right. What does hear about mean, class? To find out something. Uh, to know about. To know about. Right. Yes, find about. Yeah. Uh, that is. It is. That one's fairly simple. All right. To know some information. All right, to learn or hear information, okay? Uh, let, let's go on quicker, all right? Um, Cousin Russell's doesn't have a mic. Layla, can you please read the example for number six? Okay, uh, pull through, yes? Pull through. Pull through, through. Through, yes. The doctor didn't think so he is a chance were very good, but he pulled, pulled through. Eric is very sick, but he is young and strong, so I am sure he'll pull through. All right, mm. pull through. Let's look at the first example. The doctor didn't think his chances were very good. Very good at doing what? Very good, but he pulls through. Mm. Okay, so there's a in in the first example. There's a doctor. And the doctor doesn't think his chances are very good. His chances are very good to do what? To get over. To get to over. Survive. Mm -hmm. To survive. To survive. To survive. Okay. okay. And then it says, but. Mm -hmm. uh, Santi, the examples are inside the discussion. They're inside the, um, the document added there. All right, so the, the doctor doesn't think that he will survive, and then it says, but he, but he pulled through. But he survived. What do you think? Survived. But he, but he survived. Very good, very good. All right. Eric is very sick, but he's young and strong, so I'm sure he will pull through. When you recover from a serious illness or sickness, okay? Mm -hmm. When you get better or you recover, all right? But this could also mean to go through a difficult situation? Or only yes. to be sick? Okay. Um, let me, I, my parents were divorced, but I pulled through. Uh, yes, yes, you can use it for a, a difficult situation. Um, Spain is, they have a, they're in a crisis, right? Or Argentina. Argentina was in a financial crisis, but they pulled through. 
It means they survived the crisis and they came out better. Yeah, that's um, exactly what I meant. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. So here we're using it for illness or injury, but you can also use it for a, a bad event. I'm not sure if Spain will pull through. I don't know, Manuel. Sorry? What did you say? <laughs> I don't know if Spain will pull through the financial crisis. Uh, I don't know either. <laughs> I don't really yeah. know either. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, here's, here's a very easy one. Stay off. Nerbit, can you please help us? Yes. Stay off. You kids can play in the living room, but stay off the sofa. What can I mm -hmm. do to get my cat to stay off the kitchen counter? All right, that's a very uh, simple one again. Hello, Marcus. Hello, Ala. Yeah, I'm sorry, I have to go now. Okay, hopefully I will talk with you later. But thank you for joining yeah, us. Bye, bye everyone. Thank bye. you. Bye. Bye, bye. bye Ala. All right, um, anybody in the chat, you can click on the green box on the top and join the class. All right. All right, so um, stay off. Stay off the sofa. It to say some, it to say someone that stay, that um, don't be in a place, on, on a place like a, well, a kitchen, a sofa, stay out of the, out of a, a place, I think. Oh, okay. To get out, to leave. No, not to leave it, not even enter, I think. Okay, someone has, has highlighted it there. Uh, it is when you... Um, Keep away. On, it, it's more on top of. See, you see the preposition off and on? When you stay off something, you don't walk on it or sit on it. This phrasal verb is literal. All right? So it's not in, but it's on. Okay. Mm -hmm. did, did you guys get that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So stay off the sofa means don't go on top of the sofa. Okay. Mm -hmm. Stay off the grass means do not walk on the grass or do not sit on the grass. We can also use this to say stay off the computer. Mm. All right. Yeah. Uh, my internet was not working well, so I had to stay off of verbally. Okay. Yep. Okay. okay. Guys, good. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. And last one, Luis. Luis, can you please yes. do the last one, number eight, for us? <laughs> the throw up. Ahmed was so sick that he threw up all over my shoes. Hansa looks like he's going to throw up. <laughs> throw up is... <laughs> That's is easy. Wow. <laughs> when you are well, we a hangover. <laughs> when you are a hangover. <laughs> do, you, do, you know, do you know what the so, one... The, the word Word is the one letter. The one word is. It starts with a V in English. Throw. The Throw one me. word. Throw. Yeah. Throw is here. It's it's a five-letter word that starts with V in English. William said it. William said it in the chat. Oh, vomit. Vomit. All right. Vomit. <laughs> All right, when people <laughs> when people throw up, they vomit. They vomit. That's what it is. All right. Another word for vomit is hurl. Hurl chunks. That's very informal. All right. To blow chunks. Goodbye, Allah. All right. Um, Florine, can you please read the read the last one? Uh, be careful with the chainsaw. It will throw uh, sawdust up in your eyes. Don't stand too close to the fire. It's throwing up sparks. Okay. 
Santi. Thank you for the Spanish translation. Um, be careful with the chainsaw. It'll throw up. It'll throw sawdust up in your eye. Do you know what sawdust? Do you know what sawdust is? Okay. Uh, you you yeah. have a chainsaw. A, a chainsaw is a machine that has. Uh, it's a motorized saw that has a chain on it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yes. I'm sorry to describe it like that. But you you know what it is if I describe it. I know what it is. Yeah, and so it's, it's, it's that little particle that comes from wood or whatever. Yes, yes, the dust, yeah. the fine particle, the very fine particle. Right, so it throws up uh, sand dust, it's uh, sawdust, sorry, and the fire throws up sparks. So what does this saw, uh, what does throw up mean here? To spell. To disper, mm. to dispel? Yes. Expel, expel. 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 I don't know. To expel something. Um. Oh, okay. Uh, as it says here, it means just to put it in the air. Mm -hmm. To expel means to send it out of. But here, it just means to put it in the air. To raise it into the air. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice try, Manuel. I understood what you said, though. All right. All right, so let's look at our words again. Oh, sorry. We have come off, all right, when something is detached. Or we have come off when something is successful, all right. Or come off it. It's a, it's a phrase that means stop lying, okay. Uh, my girlfriend said the guy who she was holding her hand, holding hands with, was her cousin. <sighs> I told her to come <laughs> off it. I'm not falling for that. I'm not falling for that. All right. Doze off. Uh, Ma uh, Manuel, what does doze off mean? To fall to sleep. To feel to fall, to fall into a light sleep. All right. To fall asleep. To fall into a light sleep. Are you guys dozing off? Oh, there are no answers. I think the answer is yes. <laughs> are you guys dozing off? No. <laughs> okay. I can doze with my eyes open. Right. With your eyes oh, open. You'll never, you'll never know. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. Then we have uh, fall four. Fall for. What is uh, one four. meaning for fall for, Luis? Okay. Trick. Okay. To, uh, it's not to trick, but it's to be tricked. Be trick. To be okay. tricked by someone. To be tricked by someone, you fall for something. Mm -hmm. All right. Second, or like love. To like or love. Thank mm -hmm. you, Leila. Yes. <laughs> That's perfect. To like or love, Layla. Please do not fall for Layla's voice, people. All right. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Give it into. Give into. Uh, when you want to. When you don't want to do something, but you allow it, or the pressures force you to do it, you give into. Mm -hmm. All right. Give into. Hear about again. That's very easy. Uh, Florine, what is here about? Can you use your to own hear, words? To hear an information or something new. Okay. All right. Very good. Very good. Uh, uh, Florine. Yes. Where are you at again? Again at the moment? I forgot. I'm from Romania. 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 Yeah. I haven't heard anything about Romania in the news recently. So I, I suppose you you did that before. Uh, well, I haven't heard anything from Romania. I guess that is a good thing. If <laughs> yes, it's it's a good thing. I guess. Okay. I guess so. I, guess I, I don't so. know why only negative news get through <laughs> media. <laughs> I'm not. I I don't know why because there are also some 
good news. Good, positive things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Positive okay. Things, yeah. Hopefully, after class, you can tell us uh, some good things about Romania. I would yeah. be glad to do that. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right. Cool, cool. Um, pull through. Pull through. Uh, Norbit, can you please explain for Monair what pull through means? Um, when you stay away from from something. When you run away? Uh, no, stay away. So stay. Right. Mm, not yeah, so okay. much. Okay. Uh, Layla, can can you try? No. Uh, so there. Pull through. Pull through. Um. Yeah. I thought it would stay off. Sorry. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I understand, but I can't explain. <laughs> pull through. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, William, would you want to explain pull through? Thank you for your help. Pull through? Yeah. It's like you um, you recover from something. Okay. Pull through it. Uh, that's what I, that's what I remember. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It is right there, people. You can read it if you want. It is okay. <laughs> right. So it's a terrible disease or an illness or a situation, and you you. Yeah. You recover, or you become Survive. better again. <laughs> Survive. Yes, you pull through. All right. Stay off. Very easy. Manu? Manuel, sorry. <laughs> Don't wear the seat on. on <laughs> 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 right. I've, been reading, I've been reading it, sorry. <laughs> yeah, no, no, that is perfect. That is fine. That is, it's, we want to do a quick review. All right? And throw mm. up. Ah. Gabrielle, throw up. Throw up, like yes. Well, it has two meaning. Two meanings. Mm -hmm. One is a uh, vomit, and the other one is uh, when you throw something. When you are, uh, when something is, mm, yes, throwing something. I don't know other way to say. <laughs> it's a, it's it's the when literal. You, yeah. When you it's put, put it in, in the, the air. air. Yeah. yeah. Very good. Yeah, mm -hmm. Very good. It's the literal meaning when you when you put something in the air. All right. Very good. All right. Very good. Those are our idioms we're working with today. We have 15 more minutes left. Uh, scroll down until you see exercise one. All right. Fill in the blanks. In exer in exercise one. Oh, could I read? Actually, Layla, can you please read? I would love for you to read. Oh, could I read? I I said. Yeah, can you read? I would. No, please. I would love it if you read. I have fallen for your voice. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Um. He is a cause uh, torn every day. I have a feeling, feeling she is giving him. No. <laughs> oh. Cause. <laughs> it's not yeah. true. <laughs> All right. Now, now remember, we have to conjugate the verb correctly. So, giving him. No, no, it wouldn't be giving him. Heather calls Heather torn calls every, day. every day. I have um, uh, him. No. She's, <laughs> she's calling him. <laughs> <him. laughs> <laughs> what was the answer? Fall for him. Fall for him? She's falling okay. for him. Falling for him. Okay. All right, see, so remember, she is, she is falling for him. Very good. Oh. All right. <laughs> All right. Could you, could you say she's fallen for him instead that, of she's falling for him? She is could you falling say for him. She's falling for him instead of she's falling for him. As as past tense, she, has, she, she has, has fallen for him. She has fallen for him. Mm -hmm. you, could you say she has fallen for him? 
instead yes, of yes. calling for him? Mm -hmm. You can say that too. Mm -hmm. right. To show the because past experience what, of it. Because that is what I thought. Okay, all right, that, that is perfectly mm -hmm. fine too. She has fallen for him, she is falling for him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, uh, William. Yes? <laughs> Can you try number two? Hi, Glo. Okay. Michaela. <laughs> I want to let you repair, guy, because the hail um, came off my chair. Ding dong, ding dong. Very good, came off. And it's past tense. I went to the shoe repair guy. My heel came off. Who wants to do the next one? Number three. I stay off 10 minutes after the news started. OK. I, no, no, I hear I, I can. Your microphone is kind of, I didn't hear very well. Go again, Mahmoud. Yeah. yeah. Failed. Mm. Okay, the movie started, and ten, after ten minutes after it started, I did something. Off. <laughs> did off. something. <laughs> All right. Did Did you figure it out, Memu? Uh, Memet. Mm -hmm. All right. It's. Dozed off, dozed off. I dozed off and missed the whole thing. Mm -hmm. All right, All right okay. let's go number seven. Can I, can I read? Yes, uh, whose voice is that? I cannot see it. Norbert. Norbert. I was going to call you Norbert. I really was. I was going to call you next. The bride got too <laughs> much champagne and she threw up all over the bathroom. That is a horrible bride. <laughs> Very good. All right. <laughs> she drank too much and she threw up all over the best man. All right, uh, Gabrielle, are you with us? Yes. Mr. Uh, Garcia, go for number five. I need a car to go to the party. So I told my father I need his car to go to the library to study, and he fell it. He fell it. Close. You you got the right prep. You got the right uh, phrasal verb. He. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> no. Uh, no. Right, what's the past? What's the past? Can someone help him? What's the past sense of fall? Fail. Fail. Very good. All right. Very good. Very good, Garcia. He fell for it. That is a very bad son. But the father fell for it. All right, all right, good, good. Uh, Florine, can we go on with number six? Yeah, Uncle Fred's really sick. If he pulled through, it's yes. be, it will be a miracle. All right, you got the right phrasal verb. Can you try it one more time? If he pulls through, it will be a miracle. Very good, pulls through. Pulls through. All right, very good. We have uh, six more. Let's let's go very quickly. Um, William, number seven. Okay, let me read it. Okay. I just I just shampooed the carpet in the living room, so stay off it. Off it. Yes. Off. Very good. Stay off it. Stay off it. Um, uh, Layla. Yes, um, <laughs> it's difficult. They coops without any bullshit. Um, okay. The coup. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you know what a coup is? Okay. <laughs> if if you ever want to know what a word is in Google Docs, no, it's okay. Um, highlight the word and then go to tools. And then click define. Coop. All right. So a coup is a, a sudden, violent, illegal seizure of government, of power from the government. It's a group of people who tried to take power from the government. In Syria, there is a coup right now. In Spain, in 
1984, there was an attempt coup? 82. 1982, 82. I think. Okay. So, um, the... Here about, yes. No. No. Does anybody know what number eight is? That, yes, that's, a, that's a little yes. bit of a difficult one. Come off. Came off. Yes. Ah. Came off. Came off without any bloodshed. Came off, all right. So the coup mm. was successful without anybody dying, without bloodshed. So the, all right. Layla, that was, that was a little bit of a hard one. I'll give you number nine again. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I don't okay, care. I don't you care. Bake me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't care if you bake me all night. Um, uh, I am not um, fell for. Yes. Ooh. No. <laughs> fell for. It is Call so. For it. No, someone is begging you all night. Please, 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 please. They're putting a lot of pressure on you. Please do it. Pressure giving. Yes. <laughs> Flurry, do you know? <laughs> yeah, give in. That, that's not the right. Giving. That's the right. I'm, oh, not, I'm not giving in. I'm not giving in. Not giving in. I don't care if you beg me all night. I'm not giving in. I'm not giving in. All right. Hello, Unchisa. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Tisha. Hello, everybody. I'm Anchisa from Thailand. I'm just... ah, Anchisa. Yeah. <laughs> yes. All right. All right. Uh, let's finish these last uh, three. Uh, we have five more minutes. And um, let's finish these real quick. Norbit, number 10. Um, Here, yeah, about. <laughs> <You're right. laughs> who, who was that? Who said the answer? You, me. <laughs> you, you, you just wanted to make up for the other two. OK. Norbit, <laughs> I, I apologize for Layla. I apologize for Layla. Can you please do number 11? Uh, <laughs> Don't get close to the fire. It's um, ashes and sparks. So I don't know. It's a fire. <laughs> but Marcus is here. Shouldn't be. I heard about your brother's accident last night. It's okay. safe. Yes. Very good. Very good. <laughs> 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 I heard about that. Is right. Same. All right, Norbit. What? No, I don't know. Okay. Can anyone help him, cousin Russell? I'm Girl? sorry, I can't see. Don't get close no. to the fire. Come off! Come off! Yes, Throw. come off. Don't get close to the fire. This throwing Throw. up patches and sparks. Throw up. <laughs> I invented Throwing a new up. word. Throw. <laughs> what was the word? I say throw out. I don't know if <laughs> it does exist. Actually, there is a phrasal verb throw out. There is a phrasal verb throw out. But no, it's throwing okay. up. Right. Okay. To throw out something means... That's okay. That's okay, cousin. Um, to throw out something means to... Does anybody know? Oh, we'll meet. To dispose uh, something. Perfect. Beautiful word, Gabriel. Uh, or, sorry, Florin. To dispose of something. To put it in the garbage. You throw out. So, okay. All right, Thanks. and number. <laughs> that's right. And number twelve. Number twelve. Uh, Ma Ma Manu, do number twelve, uh, please. Do you really expect me to believe a crazy story like that? Come of it. Come of man. <laughs> <laughs> you added the extra man. Come off it, man. Right, come off come it. Off it. Very good, very good. Do you expect me to believe a story like that? Come off it. Ah, come off it. Mm. All right, very good. Mm -hmm. um, the document is still here, and there are two more exercises. All right? Um, after the class, you can still go through the document and answer those sections. Okay? 
We have uh, two more minutes, and then I'm going to stop the video. But you can do those extra classes on your own time, all right? Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, really quick, let's try to see how far we can get through exercise two. All right. Um, we're going to make, we're going to change the questions, I mean the sentences into questions mm -hmm. by using do, does, or did. Okay. When we make questions with I and you, we use do in the present tense. All right. If you use he, she, or it, you use does. And in the past tense, we use did. So the okay. example is, Francisco usually dozes off after dinner. A question, does Francisco usually doze off after dinner? Do we understand? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. All right. The sick boy threw up. Does the sick boy? Did the sick boy throw up? All right. Throw up. Ushin, our Thai friend. I'm sorry, I cannot say your name. <laughs> Can you, sorry. Can you try to make the question? Everybody shimmies. That's for number one. For, for everybody meet. <clears throat> okay, okay. Um, let, let's say, let, let, let's, because we don't have much time, let's just say the answer. What is it? Hmm? Norbit, you said, does the sick boy throw up? Yes. Yeah. Did. Did. Okay. The answer Sorry. actually would be, did the sick boy throw up? Yes. Throw up. All right. We say did because threw up is past tense. Yes. Mm -hmm. Threw up is past tense. Okay. And we say did to make it past, but then the verb is in its base form. All right. Did the boy throw up? Okay. Rosa falls does. for every boy. Does Rosa, Rosa falls. <laughs> <laughs> Rosa falls for every boy she meets. <laughs> All right. W what is it, Lila? <laughs> yes, does. <laughs> does what? Does Rosa force for every? Uh, and does Rosa force for every boy she meets? Yes. <laughs> you should Do drop the agree? S. No, fall. Uh, fall she or the S. Very good, William. Very good. Does Rosa fall for every boy she meets? All right. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We are over time. All right, guys. I'm gonna stop the broadcast now. <laughs> Sorry. Mm -hmm. Um, we're, I'm going to be here for a few more minutes, but um, thank you for coming to the class. Thank you, Florine. All right, and Mikhaila, we can talk later. But I'm going to just finish this off, but I have to stop now, right?